just got my amp today. MB Court Onyx 4.80. It's kind of big, but it's not as big as my Onyx 2000D, which is for my subs. So I'm going to try and fit it under the front seat. Obviously, it's not in the car yet, but I want to put it right here. Take this plastic piece out and put it right there. Alright, cool. Oatmeal. Okay, I'm just gonna show you guys what I did in here. Here's the amp that's gonna be sitting under the front seat. I got my RCAs. Um, I had to use an RCA splitter, two actually, because there's only one um, speaker output RCA on the on the deck here. It's all apart right now, but and the other one's a subwoofer out. So I plugged the subwoofer one into the into the three and four channel in here, and no no sound came from it. It was only they were the speakers were moving, but there's no actual sound. So and then something always goes wrong. Something always comes up, makes it difficult. Um, Here's my tweeters really quick and just screw them into the A pillar here. And over there, I have this little vent here that there's plugs there that just come out. I wired it through there, through the door here. And then, okay, something always goes wrong. Um, the mounting depth on these are pretty, pretty big, so and the windows right here so there was barely enough space I had to use two spacers on each of the front doors and then I had to screw in this metal thing as a bracket pretty much so that it fits alright and it's not moving anywhere and I turned them on last night it sounds good it's not going to be the best sound quality but it's going to be better with than what I had and for the back doors, um, back doors fit fine because I had six and a half back there already. So what I did for what I did for the back doors, the tweeters. See right here, this is the tweeter mount, and I had I drilled right through there a little hole, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put here's the tweeter, and here's a little terminal I have. And this is wired to the crossover network, the little crossover here, and then to the speaker. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to wire this through the door and then plug it into the terminal so that when I take the door panels off, I don't have to have butt connectors on there or, or and break the butt connectors off. I can just unplug it and plug it in whenever I want. And I took off the the quick connects because I couldn't find any small male connectors. It is pretty much impossible. So, oh well, this is what it's looking like. I turned them on last night, and the two front door speakers alone, when I only had them working, they were louder than all four of my door speakers. I walked out into the street over there and the whole neighborhood could hear them so they're getting pretty loud already and I'm just gonna tune these and, and then I'll make a video later